Seal twisting. What is seal twisting? How does it work? And why is it good? By the end of this video, you're going to have all the answers you need to these questions. So sit back, open your ears, and welcome to DC's school of seal twisting. So what is seal twisting? Seal twisting is the action of changing seals at the end of your weapon swing timer to benefit from two seals within one auto attack. It was originally in the 2004 version of Vanilla WoW until the rework of the seal and judgment system in 2008 Wrath of the Lich King, but wasn't fully popularized until WoW Classic and TPC Classic. The reasoning behind how it worked was because originally back in 2004, there was a lovely little thing called spell batching. This simply put would add a delay to your abilities to help smooth out the original gameplay due to dial-up internet still being widely used in the mid-2000s. This also resulted in delays with player buffs, where should one buff overwrite another buff, such as certain seal overwriting another seal, it would create a delay and momentarily you would have both buffs, therefore giving birth to one of the most loved and hated playstyles for retribution called seal twisting. Because of its popularity, the developers chose to keep seal twisting in classic versions of the game, despite taking away spell batching, and have made seals independently batched to 0.4 seconds just like the original iteration of spell batching for paladin seals back in the day. So with that little history lesson, you now know what seal twisting is and where it came from. Let's dive into how it works in-game. These are all the seals currently offered to the Paladin in Season of Discovery, and this is the interactions between all of the seals when it comes to seal twisting. You will see that some say two-way, while others say one-way. What this means is that seals noted as two-way will be able to twist with one another no matter what seal you started with, and the ones where it says one way must be twisted into from another seal. For example, as you can see you are freely able to twist back and forth from seal of righteousness and seal of command. However, you can only twist into seal of justice because when you try to twist to another seal from seal of justice to another seal, you will no longer have the 0.4 second delay and it will instantly replace the seal. Lastly, some seals straight up just cannot twist between each other. However, we really don't care about the interaction between these seals specifically as they wouldn't serve any real purpose. Twisting in-game is relatively straightforward and requires no additional add-ons or weak cores outside of a swing timer. The swing timer I am using right here is a timer specifically for paladins and for seal twisting. It has a green mark to indicate the 0.4 second window to be able to twist, a 1.6 second red mark to indicate when no other ability should be cast beyond this point to risk not having a free GCD to twist into the 0.4 second window, and finally a visual indication of which seal is currently active. This is not my weak aura, however I have altered it a little bit to how I like it and I will share it with a link in the description if you are interested. The only other things to know is to have a start attack macro for the seals you intend to twist, such as Seal of Command and Seal of Martyrdom. If you intend to use Seal of Command for your twisting, you should only use rank 1 Seal of Command, because regardless of the rank, the active seal portion of the spell remains the same, and only the judgement damage will change per rank. You should be judging Martyrdom in PvE situations, and only use max rank of Seal of Command in PvP situationally when the target is stunned. For instance, you could start with Seal of Subscribe and twist it into Seal of Like for instant 99 passes. But for real, you could start with Seal of Command and by the end of your swing, swap to Seal of Martyrdom to strike the target with both Command and Martyrdom damage. As you can see right here, in one swing we had 4 instances of damage. Our melee attack, Seal of Command and Seal of Martyrdom twice. The reason behind Martyrdom striking twice is because you get a Martyrdom proc on your normal melee swing and it will also proc on the Seal of Command proc as well. And as you can see this results in a huge burst of damage. This will only work with Seal of Command and doesn't currently work with Seal of Righteousness procs. As when you twist into Seal of Righteousness you only get 3 instances of damage which is your melee attack, your Seal of Martyr on your melee and your Seal of Righteousness damage. What this means is if you want to have optimal DPS while seal twisting, you'll be aiming to use only seal of command with seal of martyrdom. While opting for the seal twisting playstyle, you want to be using a slow two-handed weapon as opposed to using the extremely fast weapons we're currently using for the exo spam playstyle. There is two reasons for this. The first reason is that seal of command scales directly off your weapon's raw swing damage and not weapon DPS. The second reason is because the slower your weapon, the more room you have to use GCDs on other abilities before you need to twist. With this being said, currently Seal of Martyrdom's damage is normalized to a 3.3 weapon speed, which means its effectiveness becomes weaker with any weapon slower than 3.3 speed. 
However, I would assume going into phase 4 and level 6 there, further adjustments to the seal twist in playstyle will likely be made, and martyrdom may not stay normalized and will result in benefiting from a slow weapon just like seal of command. An example rotation could look something like this. Precast command, start attack macro twist with martyrdom into a crusader strike, into a twist, followed by exorcism into another twist. Currently it's still being thought out which is the best actual rotation for seal twisting in SOD right now for a few reasons, such as it's the first time we've had two way twisting with command and martyrdom, in TBC seal of blood only had one way twisting and now we also have runes in the mix such as exorcist, art of war, runes boosting exorcism in general. When there was only one way twisting it was simple to know when to judge because you had to reseal command to be able to twist again, so you would judge just before you resealed command. Now with two way twisting it feels a bit like a wasted GCD, but a judgement of martyrdom does hit hard, so it's going to be something that will have to be figured out at 6 there and updated in a retribution DPS guide in the next phase. We also aren't quite 60 yet, and I'm sure there'll be more refinements, and if anything drastically changes I'll make sure to do a follow up video. So why is seal twisting good and why is it worth learning seal twisting? Seal Twisting has a love-hate relationship with Paladins. Some players think it's an outdated, janky playstyle where you just sit looking at your swing timer the whole time. Whereas others find it to be a skill expressive, fun little mini game within a Paladins damage rotation and feels extremely rewarding when played correctly. I personally absolutely love Seal Twisting, I always have done. For me nothing quite comes close to when that twist hits that sweet spot with a Wind Fury proc and a Command proc creating an insane burst of damage followed shortly by stealing aggro and dying of course. But no matter what side of seal twisting you're on, if further adjustments come to the seal twisting playstyle and it becomes the meta way to play for optimal DPS and you want to play optimally, it'll be worth to learn seal twisting and who knows, it might just grow on you too. And that is about all there is to know when it comes to seal twisting. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask them down below. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helps you out.